All right, guys, I'm back with another video. The Catra and I have come back in, so I'm gonna unbox this for you all so we can kind of check them out and we'll talk about them a little bit. First, what am I carrying today? This is my Benchmade Super Freak. <clears throat> uh, you guys have seen my video on it, or I did the video, I don't know if you watched it or not. But you guys know I'm not really a Benchmade guy, but the M4 steel and just the overall shape and size of this knife really appeals to me. So anyway, let's talk about what I have here in front of me. This is the uh, document that came back with the box. And I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because the middle section has my personal information on it. So you can see here, it just tells you what this um, package contains, gives you a little bit of information about it. And then at the very top, it just tells you that, um, tells you about the company and it tells you that it's an advice note. And like I said, below that is my uh, address and all that stuff. Things I'm not gonna show you on camera. So uh, I have not opened this box and I'm not showing you the other side because again, my address and everything is on there. But this looks like a USPS small flat rate box that's been wrapped in brown paper and then uh, kind of shrink wrapped, kind of like, um, you know, you would do meat or something like that. So I'm gonna open this up so that way you guys are seeing this in real time with me. Yep, it's a flat rate priority box. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pull this off to the side just to make sure that my information is not on here to make sure that this isn't the box I sent the knives over in. Um, I'm not really sure whose information is on here. Let's see. All right, sorry about that. My memory card filled up at the worst possible time. All I did was dump these out on the table. Um, I did, if, you, if you're looking at my Instagram page, I, I know this will be lag, but if you're looking at my Instagram page, I've shot a couple of videos of this and posted it up over there. Um, this is Saturday, oh man, October 11th or something like that, 12th. Um, so if you're looking at that, you, you've seen the, the posts over there. Um, I, let me just show you guys so you can see for yourself. I'm going to move all these things out of the way so I can get some focus because I want you guys to see exactly what I'm seeing. <clears throat> so this is the uh, Kershaw knife. And I don't know if you guys are picking that up, but do you see what looks like a wire edge all the way along that bevel? Or for the most part, all the way along that bevel? Let me flip it to the other side. Look, look right back here. It's very pronounced back here. You all see that? Look at the tip of the knife up here. And then down here, and I mean, that's just a, a factor of the system. It didn't go all the way to the back, but you can see there the difference between the factory bevel and the, um, the, the bevel that was added by their testing machine. You can also see, you can see it really good there. It's very wavy. The bevel is very wavy. I noticed it again on the tip. I don't remember if it was on this side or the other side. Oh, right here, you can see it looks a little bit, little bit wavy. Um, and you can see that wire edge kind of that I was talking about. Keeping in mind, guys, they only tested 25 millimeters of this edge. So they didn't test this whole edge. So I, I don't know exactly why it looks like this. The other thing I noticed is if you go back to the, the test, you'll notice that there were four uh, Rockwell hardness uh, scores that were averaged to get, you know, the number that I reported to you all. There were also three Vickers tests that were averaged that were, um, that I reported to you, well, I showed you guys, but I didn't really talk about that a lot because Vickers, there, there are very few other measurements that have been talked about that are in Vickers. So, it didn't really directly relate to what you all would know. So I just kind of briefly mentioned it, but it's all in the report. Can you all see there that there are five larger divots, which would come from a uh, Rockwell testing machine and they only reported the four and then a diagonal line that runs like this through those dots, those would be the Vickers sites. Can you see that there are four, but only three were, were reported. So that's also very interesting. So that's knife number one. Um, for, for reference, 
<clears throat> this is a knife that I sharpened on my Wicked Edge. I did a cut, a cut test on it myself. And you can see, and I stropped this knife. So this knife was tested as well. I have not sharpened or um, done anything to it since that test, since I stropped it back up. Can you see that this bevel? So I'm just giving that as a reference point. I'm not saying that I'm a better sharpener or they're a better sharpener. I'm just giving that as a reference point. So we can see here that um, they've tested down the blade on this one. Let's see if I can get that focused. And here we do have what appear to be four Rockwell sites. And again, they did report the four. So that's, that's interesting there. I don't see... Ah, here, oh no, there are a bunch of test sites on this blade. There's one, two, three, four, five, six more on this side. So they tested this knife six times on this side, and then they tested the knife four times on this side. So that's a total of 10 different test sites. Uh, interesting that they tested on the tang of the blade, and then they tested all the way down the uh, blade itself, which, keep in mind, you can't test on an angled surface, and obviously this would be angled, even if that angle is slight, uh, because that throws the reading off for the Rockwell tester. So that is very interesting. I don't see, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, I'm trying to reflect it in the light here, I don't see any smaller, oh, here they are, here they are. And it looks like there are one, two, three, four, looks like there are four different Vicker sites on the tang of the blade here. Those will be the small dots. Um, let's see if there were any on the blade. I don't see any on the blade. So that's interesting that they, they tested for uh, Rockwell hardness in multiple places, but they did not test for Vickers in multiple places. Also, look at the sharpening. Now, this one does look better than the other knife. Um, you can clearly tell by how large this bevel is right here and by how much relatively smaller the bevel is here that there's clearly a difference in the angle. It does look like they got pretty much to the back of the knife on this side, but on this side, again, it looks like they just ran way up onto the blade and they didn't get back here. So this sharpening is incredibly uneven. Um, wow, I don't... That, that's going to need to be fixed. Now, I don't see, well, I do see. I don't know if I'll get it to show up on camera. Yeah, it looks like you can see it there. See that wire edge? It looks like there's a wire edge on these knives. Um, you guys tell me if that's my eyes or, or not. Um, let's look at the paramilitary twos. So, you can see here, this is the knife. I'm going to wipe it off real quick. Didn't want to do that off camera. I'm, I'm trying to do as much of this on camera as possible because I don't want anybody saying that, you know, I, I threw any anything here. Um, let's see. Okay, it looks like the test sites are on this side of the blade. And you can see the four, one, two, well, no, five Rockwell sites. And I will tell you from what I know, talking to uh, Kurt, Testing on these, the, the actual letters will throw those numbers off. So it's interesting they tested on those, those letters. I do see one, two, three. I see three Vicker sites from what my eyes can see. One, two, and then the third one there. <clears throat> this knife also has a pretty pronounced wire edge. I don't know if you guys are picking that up on the camera. This tip also is, you know, wavy. Obviously, we already established they're not getting all the way to the back of the knives. Here is this side of the blade. You can see here this edge is very, very wavy. I don't see that wire edge here. The tip is better, but you can see that tip is still um, it's, it's not quite right. It's not quite right. I, 
It's very interesting that they usually talk about keeping these knives and destroying them. I, I'm not saying that these knives are destroyed, but these are going to require a lot of work to get these tips where they need to be. Let's, let's take this one out of the, the bubble wrap. And this is the only S30B knife, by the way. So let's see here. Let me wipe it off. And it looks like there's a black line right here. And it looked like that line was about in the same place on the other Spyderco. So maybe that's where they tested it. I'm not sure. But again, you can kind of see pretty predominantly a wire edge in several portions of the edge, on several portions of the edge. Um, let's, let's look at the test sites. So you can see here there are one, two, three, four, four of the uh, sites for Rockwell hardness are on the blade maybe a fifth over here in these right there but again these letters right here can throw off the reading because it's not a flat surface and that, and the test does rely on it being a flat surface and you can see here there are one two three three vicar sites from what i can see i'll kind of rotate it back and forth in the light and give you guys a chance to count it yourself so that is what came back from Catra. Um, I, I'm going to leave it out there for you guys. You guys tell me what you think. Uh, it's very interesting. And I will say, this was the only used knife of this entire batch. This knife had been sharpened, I won't say once, it had been sharpened on an Edge Pro and it was carried for a while and it was sent to me. All of these knives are brand new, out the box, never cut anything, never been sharpened, nothing. So Catra was the only group that touched these knives here. This knife was the only one that was used and it's very interesting that they did so many different Rockwell tests in so many different locations, including one that is not a flat surface. So. You guys tell me what you think down below. I apologize for my camera cutting out. I've dumped the video card, so we shouldn't have that issue. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, a lazy man carries a dull knife.